Uh, uh. See, that's one thing I like about my brother, my friend, right. and my Deacon Baker. I, I love him. He's fighting cancer. Every time I think, how you doing? Even when he's not doing good, well, we'll tell but God's still good. Yeah. I, the praise should be on my what? Continually. Uh, 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 they just closed the plant. They, I lost my job, but you know what? God's still good. You ever things like that? Yeah. Uh, I just wrecked my car and wasn't my fault. And, 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 but, but you know what? God's still good. The tornado just took the roof off my house, but everybody's, you know what? Hey, God is still good. You know, he left me. She left me. Ain't God good? But he there. Yeah. See, we can 
but, 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 it, but, but see, it's more than, than seeing how good God is. There's a huge difference mm -hmm. between his greatness and his goodness. Mm -hmm. See, if you really want to experience the goodness of God, guess what you got to do? Right. It's just like in the world, you gotta get your own taste. Yeah. Yeah. I know that. You gotta get your own, gotta get your own taste. You got you gotta get your own taste. I mean, have you tasted or you just got contact? Come on. Y'all ain't been saved all that. Yeah. Watch this, watch this. Y'all say, what's he talking about? That's the same principle mama used to say. If you stay around the fire long enough, baby, sooner or later, you're gonna get back. I mean, have you experienced God? Mm -hmm. or, or do you have an intellectual relationship with God? Yeah. You just show up on Sunday and the shouting and the praising of God and all that. It just makes you feel good when everybody seems to be happy and having a great time. That's good! All right. But when church is over, yeah. David yeah. said, I, 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 I will praise God at all times. All times. Yeah, yeah. You got to get your own chase. See, I, I'm not talking about a sing-along. I'm not talking about jumping and shouting and running the aisles with me. I'm talking about obeying God for yourself until the blessing of God overtakes you. Come on, come on. Remember we talking about that overtaking? Yeah, Here's the, here, here you are. Now, let's start here. Here you are. That's when you're born. All right. This when it's over. And right now, you're somewhere between here and here. Now. You might be here. You might be here. But here you are. This is over. <laughs> Here's the blessing of God. Yeah. Here you are. Yeah. Here you are. Here over. All right. Here you are. Here the blessing of God. All right. When you decide to do that which is right yeah. and good, All right. yeah. here comes the blessing of God. All right. When David said, I saw God, he kept doing what God told him to do until the blessing of God overtook him. Right. And then when the blessing of God overtook him, God said, Oh, taste. Yeah. And see, but the, now here's what we do. Here we are. Here the end. Here's the blessing of God. Here we are. Here the end. We get to go on two weeks. We stop. All right. So the blessing of God turns around. Oh. It goes back to the, it goes back to the, its beginning. It goes back to its source. It goes back to the giver of all good things. It goes back to God. Why? Because you because we turned around. Now, you know, now instead of having this much time, we got that much time. We get started again. Here we go. Here comes the blessing of God. Six months, a year, it's not coming fast enough. So what we do, we turn around. Blessing of God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. But here's the thing about the goodness of God. I don't care how much time you got left. Right. If you make up your mind today, Woo! like God. David, I'm going to praise yeah. God at all times. Yeah. His praise shall yeah. continually yeah. be in my mouth. Yeah. And just, I'm going to keep serving yeah. him. Yeah. I'm here to tell you that the blessing of God, Deuteronomy 28, two says, and all these blessings. Shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. What voice speaks to us? See, God used to speak to folk out of heaven in those days. He spoke to prophets and prophets talked to the people, but he don't speak like that more. Now anymore, he speaks through his Holy Spirit. There's that small, still voice. And in just a few moments, we're going to extend an invitation, and the Holy Spirit's going to say, It's time for you to make up your mind mm -hmm. to bless me and praise me yes, and follow me at all times. At all and times. if you do that, I promise you, the blessings of God will be yes. dispatched from heaven. Yes. You keep seeking me like David sought me, and the blessing of God will catch up. Yes. Thank you, Lord. In just a few moments. See, see, let me help you understand. When David said, my cup runneth over, Amen. See, that, that, that wasn't an intellectual Expression. All right. That was an experimental result. All right. uh, that was because he had been faithful to God, and being faithful to God, God caused his cup to run over. When, when God, when David said, uh, God prepares a table in the presence of my enemy, Come on. that's not something he saw God do for the church, or saw God do for the choir, or saw God do for the preacher. That's something he saw God do for himself. All right. uh, that's why he says, Shout! Yeah. Goodness and mercy, and mercy yeah. shall, follow me. shall follow me all the days of my life, and I would dwell in the house forever. Uh, of the house, I would dwell in the house of the Lord.